the Queen headed out on a hunt again today with her daughter Princess Anne, Formula One icon Jackie Stewart and group of local friends on the Sandringham estate. The royal was wrapped up warm for the outing and sported a thick raincoat, headscarf and gloves as she enjoyed lunch with the group before watching the shoot from a field nearby. It is the second day this week that the Queen has been out shooting, as she was also spotted out on a shoot on Friday with the same group. However although her daughter was at the event today she was not pictured alongside her 92-year-old mother. The Queen was followed by her lady-in-waiting in a car behind and police protection officers in a third car. Prince Philip, who is recovering after a car crash a week ago was not seen at the shoot. Last week she also made a visit to the Sandringham branch of the Women's Institute in Norfolk, where pointless quizmaster Alexander Armstrong was guest speaker. Her Majesty, who is known to be a superfan of the BBC quiz show, enjoyed tea and cakes with the ladies and took part in a live version of the quiz, which her team won. It is just over a week since the Queen's husband, Prince Philip, was involved in a horror car crash near the Sandringham estate. He was not injured in the crash, which involved the Kia car. A day after the crash he had a replacement Land Rover delivered and has since been spotted driving it on a public road without his seatbelt. During the shoot yesterday the Queen herself did not appear to get to grips with a gun but appeared instead to offer encouragement from the sidelines. She also took the role as royal chauffeur getting behind the wheel of her Range Rover to transport her guests though it was unclear whether or not she was wearing a seat belt. Yesterday Her Majesty lead the way for her daughter Princess Anne and her husband Tim Lawrence, using a walking stick to negotiate the rough terrain. Sir Jackie Stewart who was spotted enjoying the second day of shooting today, was also among the shooting party on Friday and is well known for being a keen marksman. The 79-year-old was a prize-winning member of the Scottish Clay Pigeon shooting team before he became a racing driver and competed in the UK and abroad. The former F1 racing driver firmly established himself in the royal fold from a young age. He enlisted Princess Anne to write the foreword for his biography and his wife Helen, who is now battling dementia, is godmother to Zara Tyndall, the Queen's granddaughter. Her Majesty was also joined by several canine pals sure to be a welcome addition for the monarch who lost the last of her beloved corgis last year. The royal family is well known for its love of shooting with a Boxing Day shoot an annual tradition. In years gone by, the Queen would be joined by royal wives during the festive shoot, following the gunmen and often wringing the necks of injured birds. But during the last hunt the 92-year-old monarch and her 97-year-old husband turned up in a Range Rover just to watch for a while and eat a lunch. The Queen is now in the final weeks of her time in Norfolk, expected to return to Buckingham Palace in the first week of February. She will mark the 67th anniversary of her accession to the throne on February 6, normally done privately on her Norfolk estate. The longest reigning sovereign in British history became Queen on February 6, 1952 on the death of her father King George VI.